Hey everybody, this is Ori from Astro Web, and I'm going to share with you a quick tip on some a sitemap XML generation issues with Magento. Uh, so in some cases, when you create an automatic sitemap.xml, uh, it doesn't work. The, it gets created, but the URL is not visible on the front end. So I want to share a small tip that ha happens to help a lot of sites that have this specific problem. So first of all, in order to get a sitemap, what you need to do, you need to make sure that the sitemap generation is actually enabled, okay? So what you need to do is go to the store configuration and go to your catalog and go to XML sitemap. And you need to make sure that it's actually uh, configured, right? So if I open all the windows, all the tabs, excuse me, and I go here, I need to make sure that it's actually generation to yes, right? So this is the first tip, very simple. And you can also add an error uh, sending an email notification if there's a problem. So if I click on yes, and assuming you have all the other configurations the, the way you want it, but default in most cases is fine, then what you do is you go here to marketing and under SEO and search, you're going to click on sitemap and you're going to generate the sitemap. So if you, if you have a single site, not a multi-site with multi-countries, you're just going to make one sitemap. Okay. And usually what you do, if you want to keep the standards is you'll type in sitemap.xml and you'll type in the root directory, just this slash. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on save and generate. So th this is the most default. This means that the, the website domain slash sitemap.xml will generate the XML. But in some cases, if you click on that link and that link you want to submit to Google Search Console or other search consoles, it doesn't work and it provides a 404 error. Now in this video, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the error, but I just spotted that in a different time. So perfect. So this also will have it. So I get a 404 error, but actually it's generated. It's fine. It looks fine. So what do I do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this. Okay. And I'm going to type here slash pub slash, right? Instead of that. And if I click on save and generate, it'll create that. And it, there should be right permissions there. Right. And now I can actually go ahead and I can check out the file. Right. And if you notice the file is actually created. So the file would look more like, like this. Let me go here view source it'll actually look like this okay and now the file is created so you have it it works and that's it okay now the second part is you can actually access that once you put it in the slash pub folder you can actually access it as the root directory and typically SEOers want to have it not in a separate folder but in the root directory so here you go now you can go take this and you can actually put it in Google search console and you're good to go so hope you enjoyed this tip. Um, thank you very much.